whom I consider to be legends of Kempo Karate. This is an honor that uh, is inexplicable to me. Um, it's very cathartic, uh, and I'm um, really glad to be here. I want to just give you a, a quick background of who I am. Um, my name is uh, James Morrill. Today I tested for my fourth Don uh, in front of this council. Um, well, I'm just glad to be here in front of them. People from Albany, New York are extremely blunt, sometimes are even considered rude. But I have to say that there's a lot of people in this room that I love very much, that I think of every day, every single day. Uh, now I want to get to what I consider a very important point. I met Senior Grand Master George Bissari. It's our uh, liaison started in the year 2008. And uh, at first, when I first contacted him, I don't think he was all that impressed. But what happened was, he was one time speaking with me, and he heard a big thud in the background. And he said to me, is that judo? And I said, yes. And he goes, well, what are you doing in the judo school? And I said, both of my daughters, Casey and Claire, take judo. And he says to me in that wonderful accent he had, he goes, well, a good father is one who takes his kids to judo. And from that day on, we had a great relationship. And uh, to make a long story short, in a sense, I started Kempo in the early 1980s. And then I got out of it because uh, my family was uh, financially challenged. I come from a very rough section of Albany, New York. It's called uh, Arbor Hill. And, you know, there's not a lot of money there. And then I got back into Kempo later on, but I've been in the martial arts since 1983. But after meeting senior grandmaster George Bissari, he impacted me more in a couple of years than most people ever have in 30 years of my life. That's not an exaggeration. I had, you know, I had a lot of issues just, you know, doing certain things like, uh, and he would get me. Uh, you know, on the side, and once even with Grandmaster Paquette and told me, this is the way I think you should be acting, Jim. This is the way you should be. So I got to a point where I would say in front of my students, I'd say, I think of senior Grandmaster George Pissari as my second father. Why? He created the world that I live in. He created the world that I love. And there's nothing that I can ever, ever, ever do to repay him. And I see him every night on my mantle. I'm a Greek Orthodox Christian. Uh, we have a prayer mantle, and we have icons in there. And I also have a, pe a picture of Senior Grandmaster George Pissari. And I always talk about him in the present tense because I feel he's alive in my heart, and I love him very much. And that's the main reason I'm here tonight. And my last thing I want to say is that from, I hope that I will always be able to spread his kepo, no matter what. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I'm...